Welcome back to MediClass. Periodontal abscess, classification, etiology, pathogenesis, and microbiology. What is an abscess? An abscess is a localized collection of pus. It consists of the living and the degenerated polymorphonuclear leukocytes, the cells of the tissues, and the living and the dead bacteria. These are enclosed within a capsule called as abscess wall, which are in turn divided into many loculations. An abscess is a reaction of the body to bacterial infection and it limits the spread of infection. Abscesses in the periodontium are basically odontogenic infections which arise due to pulp necrosis, pericoronitis, periodontal infections, trauma or surgery. Dental abscesses are broadly classified based on the source of infection. Gingival abscess, periapical abscess, periodontal abscess and pericoronal abscess. Periodontal abscess is an abscess associated with the periodontal tissues. These are classified based on the location of the abscess. Periodontal abscess are also called as lateral abscess or parietal abscess. They can either be gingival or periodontal. Gingival abscess are localized painful swelling, but these are limited to the marginal and the interdental gingiva. They can be caused due to subgingivally impacted foreign objects. Periodontal abscess are however localized painful swelling which are related to deeper periodontal structures. They may be associated with deep periodontal pockets and vertical osseous defects. They are also seen around furcation defects and extend well beyond the mucogingival junction. Based on the course of lesions, periodontal abscesses can be classified as acute or chronic. Acute periodontal abscesses are basically painful and tender. They are sensitive to palpation and they show suppuration on gentle pressure. They can become chronic abscess due to drainage through sinus or gingival sulcus. Chronic periodontal abscess are generally associated with a sinus tract which can be traced using a gutta percha point. They are basically asymptomatic and associated with very mild symptoms. However, they can have an acute exacerbation. Based on the number of abscess, periodontal abscess can be classified as single or multiple. Single periodontal abscess are associated with local factors like plaque and calculus. They occur due to closure of the drainage of the periodontal pocket. Multiple periodontal abscesses are generally associated with uncontrolled diabetes mellitus, medically compromised patients, untreated periodontitis in addition to systemic antibiotics taken for non-oral reasons. Gingival abscess A localized purulent infection caused by injury to outer surface of gingiva and involves the marginal gingiva or the interdental papilla is called as gingival abscess. This image shows red appearance of the marginal and interdental gingiva. It is limited to the marginal interdental gingiva and does not involve the supporting periodontal structures. Pericoronal abscess is associated with the crown of a partially erupted tooth. It is an inflammation of the soft tissue operculum which covers the partially erupted tooth. It is commonly seen around the mandibular third molars and the causes could be retention of microbial plaque biofilm, food impaction or trauma. Periodontal abscess is a localized purulent infection within the tissues adjacent to the periodontal pocket that may lead to the destruction of the periodontal ligament and alveolar bone. This image represents the external appearance of the periodontal abscess extending from the marginal gingiva beyond the mucogingival junction. It is associated with a deep periodontal pocket in presence of plaque and bacteria and causes destruction of the periodontal ligament and the alveolar bone. It is important to understand the clinical significance associated with periodontal abscesses. It is the third most frequent dental emergency after the dentoalveolar or the periapical abscess and pericoronitis. This image shows the extent of the periodontal abscess. Tooth loss can be seen in teeth with history of moderate to severe attachment loss during supportive periodontal therapy and teeth with repeated periodontal abscess formation can have a poor prognosis ultimately leading to tooth loss. So early diagnosis and adequate therapy is important for tooth survival. There could be systemic desemination of localized infection. Periodontal abscess can desemanate systemically in untreated periodontal abscesses or during therapy of the periodontal abscesses which could lead to systemic infections. These can lead to Bain abscess, cellulitis, pulmonary actinomycosis, total knee arthroplasty infection. However, it can be prevented by needle aspiration of the abscess contents.
So what's the etiology of periodontal abscess? It could be the pre-existing periodontal pocket in patients with periodontitis or it could be healthy sites in patients without periodontitis. In patients with periodontitis, acute exacerbation can lead to development of periodontal abscess. Patients non-responsive to periodontal therapy like refractive periodontitis and patients on periodontal therapy after completion of periodontal surgery can lead to development of periodontal abscess. Periodontal abscess can also develop after the treatment like post scaling due to lodgement of calculus into the gingival sulcus or the pocket, post surgery due to the infection caused by the exposure of the graft membranes and the sutures. Post medications like systemic antimicrobial and nephidipine can cause development of periodontal abscess. Periodontal abscess in non periodontitis patients can occur due to impaction of dental floss, orthodontic elastic, toothpick, rubber dam, popcorn, or a dislodged cemental tear. Certain habits can lead to development of periodontal abscess like wire or nail biting or clenching. Gingival overgrowth can lead to plaque accumulation and finally development of periodontal abscess. Alteration of root surface like perforation by endodontic instrument, cervical enamel tears, external root resorption, invaginated tooth or a cracked tooth can lead to development of periodontal abscess. Coming to the pathophysiology Bacterial infection of the soft tissue around the periodontal pocket can lead to development of periodontal abscess. Bacteria present in the periodontal pocket release chemotactic factors which attract the PMNs to the site of infection. This leads to a development of an inflammatory process. The bacteria and the PMN together release multiple cytokines like the interleukin-1, interleukin-6 and interleukin-17. This causes destruction of the connective tissue and eventual encapsulation of the bacterial infection and pus production leads to development of periodontal abscess. Histopathologically, an abscess from the external to the interior shows normal epithelium and lamina propria. Inflammatory cell infiltrate mainly the neutrophils and the lymphocytes and an ulcerated epithelium towards the tooth surface. The HNE staining shows intense focus of inflammation which is mainly occupied by the neutrophils and the lymphocytes. Samples for microbial culture from periodontal abscess or periodontal pocket can be collected using paper points or surgical curates. The microbiology associated with periodontal abscess could be polymicrobial and commensal bacteria. The gram-negative bacteria dominate over the gram-positive bacteria. They are non-motile, more number of rods are seen compared to the cocci, and they are strict anaerobes. The bacteria are similar to those present in the chronic periodontitis patients. Porphyromonas gingivalis is the most virulent and the most relevant microorganism associated with development of periodontal abscess. These are strictly anaerobes and could be associated with other microorganisms like Prevotella intermedia, Prevotella melanogenica, Fusobacterium nucleatum, and Tandrella forsythia. There are other facultative anaerobes associated with periodontal abscesses. These are Campylobacter species, Capnocytophaga species, and the Aggregatibacter actinomycetum comitans. In the second part of periodontal abscess, we would study about the diagnosis of periodontal abscess and the different treatment approaches for periodontal abscesses. To summarize for the part 1, periodontal abscess is a localized virulent correction of pus. It contains bacteria, living and dead polymorphonuclear leukocytes and dead cells of the tissue. Periodontal abscess types are the periodontal abscess, gingival abscess and the pericoronal abscess. These could be acute or chronic single or multiple. The causes of periodontal abscess are injury, existing periodontal pocket or systemic conditions. The chief microorganism associated with development of periodontal abscess is the Porphyromonas gingivalis. You can find the link to MCQs for this topic in the description of the video. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you liked it and if you did, please subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. Till then, stay healthy and have an amazing week.